Okay, we're back here on ECW. Our feature contest as the ECW champion makes his way to the ring. Well, you know, King has to wonder if it wasn't for the Big Show's interference, will he still be ECW champion? But take note. Kane has to win this match to get a one-on-one -on -one match with Raven of his choosing the type of match. Not only if the Big Show wins, if Tommy Dreamer wins, it's still triple threat rules at the Great American Bash. So let's see if Kane can deny either man the opportunity. ECW original not too long ago the former ECW champion Tommy Dreamer has another opportunity to challenge for the ECW title but must win this triple threat okay here we go and the big show Tommy drop It's looking to wear down the innovator of violence here. Cause we talk about how the Big Show got involved attacking Raven. Let's not mention that the champion Kane was attacked by Rikishi. At last at the King of the Ring CPV event 48 hours ago. Getting a little tongue tied there, but in the event, Rikishi was also involved, getting his hands dirty in that championship match. And for what we can understand, Rikishi is gonna have to respond to that at some point as well. Superplex off the top turnbuckle by the ECW champion, Tommy Dreamer, pouncing the head of ECW's newest acquisition. Teamwork coming now. Power bomb connecting. And Tommy Dreamer and Kane working as a team. And you know Raven is somewhere in the back. Watching the outlook of this. He will love nothing more than to have Kane come up victorious. And you can see the big show takes down Dreamer. And all three of these participants have something to gain, something to lose in this match. Because Kane does not want to walk into a triple threat match three weeks away from the birthplace of ECW, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Big right hand. And down goes the Big Show and Tommy Dreamer talking a little smack. To the ECW champion. Big Show now has him up and brings him down to the canvas. Clutch, you could join us for this edition of ECW. Once again, we're here in Fresno, California, where we saw Claus Loft wear down the Irishman Finley. We saw Tajiri take down. The masterpiece Chris Masters power bomb by Kane, as you see right there. That's right, to Jerry defeating the masterpiece Chris Masters, returning to the Corfed Nation, making his debut here in the Atlanta Extreme. So, if you thought Monday Night Raw was a little unusual last night, and ECW is tonight. This Friday on SmackDown, the 2009 King of the Ring winner Chris Jericho, as you see the Big Show stepping all over the ECW champion. And now some teamwork going on between the Big Show and, Tom and Tommy Dreamer as Kane go over the top, courtesy of the ECW original, breaking out of the eyes. 
And now they're battling here on the outside. This is not an extreme rules match whatsoever. But I don't think they care at all. As you see, Kane looked like he was making his way back to the ring. But Big Show rolls back into the ring, knowing that he has to pin someone. In order to get in that triple threat match, now you just see Kane rolling back in. And you see the referee, the official for this matchup, being a whole lot lenient. Knowing that counting them out does not help the situation at all. Tommy Dreamer, show the breaker. And now Tommy Dreamer rolls back into the ring. Kane locks up. Gets put on his back. And Kane, going for the cover already. Mike Kyoto, too close to the ropes, however. This is your feature contest for this week's edition. Big boot by the Big Show. And he told Raven to his face. He may not be wanted, says Raven, but he's here for one thing and one thing only. The ECW Championship. So you best to believe that the Big Show is looking to cash in his opportunity with a victory here in this triple threat match. Of course, Tommy Dreamer getting here to be involved in this triple threat. You see the quick one as he won that beat the clock match a couple of weeks ago, but then beat Raven's time. Of course, John Morrison is the other man who won that as well, but he didn't beat the time either. But he's now on Raw. So instead of this hand picking a new number one contender, what better way than to sell it right here? Of course, Raven wanted his shot fair and square with no interference. King can put that to rest if he wins here. If not, he has the big show to contend with. And that's a tombstone power driver. But wait a minute, there's the big show right there. And Kane breaks it up almost immediately. Counter tie up now. And Tommy Dreamer. Hughes clothesline. And wait a minute. Hughes tombstone. On the big show. But he's back up even. Hughes slam. Iris whip. And Kane. Gets sidetracked by Tommy Dreamer. And Dreamer. Has Kane occupied. But Kane now. And as a kick to the men's section, has him up. What a history of they've had in the last couple of months. Kane and Tommy Dreamer, that is. Big show. Looked like he was going for a backbreaker. And has the big show up in the air and brings him down. Down goes ECW's newest acquisition. And Tommy Dreamer. Hughes form into the kidney area of the ECW champion. And there's that devastating move. Raven knows all about that. Flat on his back goes the ECW champion. And a huge punch to the face by Dreamer. One, one pinfall to a finish. Karen tie up into the corner. Kane's in the corner, but Big Show's too busy taunting. And that's costly. And now Tommy Dreamer looking to capitalize. One legged Boston Crab by the ECW champion. And Big Show puts down Dreamer. And Kane is still on his feet. Kane's going for the cover. One, Is it over? Two, two. Broken out by Show. And Show now. 